Every day we buy reverse lottery tickets, riding turbulence, working in our contemporary bathwater factories, or basically unhelpfully self-stacking the deck. The irritating aspect of our generally inevitably increasing anti-jackpot probability is that it's never zero, but only because people like to say it's not zero. Things will either happen or not happen, zero or one, binary or non-binary, pen or teller. Causality will naturally tear probability a new one and we'll find out whether our pristine expected values would have led us to choose what turned out to be the right path. The winning numbers found out after the fact. And even so, our lottery tickets might have better odds than we realize. It could be that if we were to find the right data, bark up the right tree, or milk the right milker, we'd learn that all our methods of calculation were wrong. That the universe was trying its best to mislead us. That the best flavor made by whatever company it is that sponsors Moist Critical does taste greener on the other side. That the universe was super persuasive and made us believe in mythical things like our version of probability to increase the surprise when the anti-jackpot arrives. Sounds kind of nice, but also manipulative. 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 2 equals 5. Literally 1984. And if we don't like it, we'll already be gone. Okay. Oh no. Despair time. So ex existential and nihilistic and sinewy and universy. Wow. But it's just another reason to meta-universally analyze where we're at and tell ourselves we're good or we're not due to a story someone laid out in a random ulterior motive-filled YouTube video. Probability. Possibility. Solvability. Somnambulity. You hear it? You feel it. Get over it already. I'm just bored. Everything's a lottery ticket and I don't know for sure or at all what the odds are. What if everything's going to happen just like we think it will, but nothing's actually connected in the causal way we think it is? What if we're all just unstuck in time? Suspended in that uncaring, unfeeling, unmeaningful time jello, poking in and out periodically, fourth dimensionally. Meaning melts with the non-time specific sun, leaving all life paths in a puddle. So it goes, so it goes under the frying eyes of David Hasselhoff. There's no emotional response. I'm indifferent, but strongly. Mostly because looking at things from far away should probably merit an even an equal amount of emotional detachment. The sun's gonna blow up in five billion years. Oh no! Anyway? You see all these headlines trying to imply the world is a scarier place than it is. Before headlines, before communities were atomized, you'd constantly interact personally with other people in the local story cow spheres everyone needed to come to terms with. You were probably buying lottery tickets more often, with worse odds, with less cushioning from the slow propagation of nonviolent philosophies, and yet you lived as contently and as beautifully as you could despite the local conflicts, the more unstable systems around you, the increased violence per capita. It's like knowing about our actual quantified life circumstances makes humans freeze up, desperate with denial or rife with anxiety. Like when you see how many months will on average take place in your lifetime. To our modern terror in the face of the constant unfair, unfeeling reverse lottery, our piercing uncertainty that keeps us ruminating and questioning and avoiding biting the bullet, so to speak. I'd say that we have to know the game to make any substantial progress, that we need to embrace the odds before we can collectively work to lower them, whether philosophically or otherwise. You like truth, right? Just treat the possibility of death like another seemingly inevitably impossibly true fact of life.